Hi, welcome to Bookie. To unlock more world-class bestseller, please download our app. Just search for B-O-O-K-E-Y at Apple Store or Google Play. You will get 7 days free trail with more features. Today we will unlock the book The Black Swan, The Impact of the Highly Improbable. If someone said that tomorrow is always full of unknowns and risks, you may think that they are being a bit alarmist. However, this was true of September the 10th, 2001. Who could have ever predicted that terrorist attacks would happen the very next day? These events stunned the entire world. That morning, Terrorists hijacked four passenger airliners. One of the planes crashed on the ground. Two planes crashed into the World Trade Center in New York. The sky was filled with clouds of smoke, and both towers collapsed within two hours. The fourth plane crashed into the Pentagon in Washington and partially damaged the building. Nobody on those four planes survived. About 3,000 people were killed, 600 more than the victims of the attack on Pearl Harbor. It can be said that the September 11th attacks destroyed the entire World Trade Center and part of the Pentagon. But more importantly, it damaged America's sense of peace and security. What was shocking about the attacks were not only its sudden and disastrous consequences, but also why the United States of America which has the world's most advanced means of communication and intelligence, failed to predict this long-planned plot. Now, you may have an idea about what the term black swan refers to. It indicates an unexpected and impactful event. It's beyond expectations and brings about immense influence. The September 11 attacks are a typical black swan. However, if you think that black swans are limited to national affairs, you're wrong. In fact, black swans are everywhere. They have an impact on issues ranging from national and social security to our daily lives. Hence, let's see what the book The Black Swan has to say about why it's hard to predict a black swan, and how we should cope with the unpredictable future. The author of this book Nassim Nicholas Taleb is a researcher at the New York University Quran Institute of Mathematical Sciences. He also wrote several best-selling books, such as Fooled by Randomness, Antifragile, and Skin in the Game. In his early years, he was a businessman and dealt with various financial products in New York and London. Now, he serves as a distinguished professor at New York University. The Black Swan is the epitome of Taleb's thoughts concerning uncertainty, and a book full of prophetic wisdom. Taleb is also known as the father of the Black Swan for putting forward the Black Swan theory. Besides enjoying the status of a classic in the sociocultural field, the book was listed as a bestseller by the New York Times for more than a year, and has been published in over 30 languages. Next, we will deconstruct the core contents of the black swan in three parts to understand how we can cope with the unpredictable future. Part 1. What are the characteristics of the black swan? Part 2. Why can't we predict the black swan? Part 3. How can we cope with the impact of the black swan? According to Taleb, the black swan has three characteristics, unpredictable, impactful, and post hoc explainable. First, the black swan is unpredictable. In other words, people can't find any evidence from the past, which may indicate that the event was likely to take place. For example, Europeans had been seeing white swans for thousands of years, and so they took it for granted that all swans must be white. During the Age of Discovery, they landed in Australia, and were amazed by the sight of black swans, going against what they had known for so many years. As such, Taleb named this type of event the black swan. Let's look at another example. With the intention of setting out for India, Christopher Columbus discovered the American continent by accident. He mistakenly believed it to be India, and so he called the locals Indians. In reality, he had intended to find Asia, and never expected that his accidental discovery would change the course of world development. Following the discovery of the New World, Europeans continued to migrate to the Americas, leading to a wave of migration in human history. As you can see, these examples demonstrate the unpredictability of the black swan. Both the sighting of black swans by Europeans, and Columbus's discovery of the American continent were unpredictable. 
The second characteristic is that the black swan is impactful. As Taleb wrote, human history doesn't crawl, jumps. He named events that cause a jump in history as black swans. For instance, no one could ever have predicted the September 11 attacks, which impacted America as well as the entire world. Likewise, no one predicted the breakout of the Second World War, which later transformed the geopolitical layout of the world. Another example is the December 2004 earthquake with a magnitude of over 9 in the Indian Ocean. It resulted in a tsunami that killed almost 300,000 people in countries along the Indian Ocean. These black swans all had great impacts. The third characteristic of the black swan is that it's post hoc explainable. Taleb argues that if we place ourselves before the occurrence of a black swan, we would believe that things happen for no reason, and they could not have been predicted at that time. However, if we take a retrospective perspective, we can find all kinds of reasonable explanations. Taleb, for example, mentioned a book titled Berlin's Diary. Through the perspective of a war journalist, the book describes the situation before and during the Second World War. According to the author, before the war, people had absolutely no idea what was going to happen and what Hitler would do next. The French also didn't take Hitler seriously, and no one expected the breakout of a world war. This accounted for the passive position France took in the beginning of the war. However, afterwards when people reflected, they found all kinds of details that seemed to prove Hitler's ambition. Their arguments seemed well-grounded, pointing to the fact that the Second World War was doomed to occur. Though we are talking about the same Second World War, if we were to look at it from a before and the after point of view, our perspectives would become totally different. When we take a retrospective viewpoint to analyze the cause of the black swan, we would come to an agreement that the event was definitely possible. Hence, Taleb also said that since the black swan is post hoc explainable, people pay less attention to it. They mistakenly think that they can find the exact cause by analyzing past black swans, so that they can learn their lesson and predict similar events in the future. Alright, that's all for part 1. The black swan has three characteristics. It is unpredictable, impactful, and post hoc explainable. It exceeds expectations and has immense impact. People can't predict the black swan, but often make a post hoc analysis, thus believing that they can predict similar events in the future. Taleb tells us that it's hard to predict the black swan. Why is this? We will explain the reasons in the following part. In Taleb's opinion, People's cognitive biases are a crucial factor that makes us unable to predict the black swan. In the book, he listed four types of cognitive biases. Confirmation bias, the narrative fallacy, silent evidence, and the ludic fallacy. We will go through them one by one. First, let's take a look at how confirmation bias influences our understanding of the black swan. What is confirmation bias? We can explain the concept through the following examples. Since Europeans had only seen white swans, they therefore concluded that all swans were white. Furthermore, they kept looking for white swans which reinforced the conclusion that all swans are white. In reality, however, black swans existed, proving that the previous conclusion was biased. Taleb also tells a story about a turkey. A turkey is fed every day for a thousand days while leading a comfortable life. Thus, the bird enjoys every moment and keeps finding evidence in daily life that proves its safety. However, on the 1001st day, it becomes a Thanksgiving meal. You see, the turkey had only paid attention to the evidence that proved its safety, but had never thought about the possibility of approaching danger. The Titanic is another example. The captain of the Titanic wrote in 1907, but in all my experience, I have never been in any accident of any sort worth speaking about. I have seen but one vessel in distress in all my years at sea. I never saw a wreck and never have been wrecked, nor was I ever in any predicament that threatened to end in disaster of any sort. However, the Titanic sank during its first voyage, and became the most renowned shipwreck in history. All these examples show that people are used to coming to conclusions from past phenomena, and tend to find evidence that proves the validity of those conclusions. This is known as the error of confirmation. 
Taleb reminds us that if we want to avoid being misled by the error of confirmation, we should be aware that previously unseen events might still happen in the future. Moreover, if we want to determine whether something is true or not, it is best to not look for supportive evidence. Instead, we should see if there is any evidence against it. Let's now explain how the narrative fallacy influences our understanding of the black swan. The narrative fallacy refers to people's tendency to not accept facts as they are when they observe, and try to understand an event. Instead, they prefer to make over 